So I'm going to take some time and go through problem four because that will help you in your homework. So as we look at the problem here on page um, 118, it says Hertz Limo Service was organized to provide limousine service between the airport and various suburban locations. It had just completed its second year of business and the trial balance is shown below. So you can see the various accounts. We have our cash, accounts receivable, prepaid rent, prepaid insurance, prepaid maintenance, spare parts, which is an inventory asset, limousines, and then we have an, a contra account called accumulated depreciation, our liability of notes payable, our liability of unearned passenger service revenue, an equity account, a film capital, and then we have the withdrawal portion of a film capital, which is a debit. Then we have our revenues of 428, 498, and our three accounts of expenses. So they provide us with additional information and we have to come up with the adjusting entries and put them in the gen general journal. So the first one that it states is that to obtain space at the airport, Hertz paid two years rent in advance when it began in the business. So um, it, it just completed its second year of business and when it began the business it had prepaid rent of twelve thousand dollars or excuse me it paid for two years so my assumption here is that this prepaid rent um, would need to be reduced and treated as a rent expense. So as we look down here, as I go to chapter three, and I pull this up, um, as we look down at the adjusting entry for prepaid rent, we're going to debit a rent expense and we'll be crediting what we would call the prepaid rent. So, <coughs> Excuse me one second here. And so as I pull this up for you, If I find it, There we go. So as we look for this particular adjusting entry, you'll notice that they debit the rent expense for $12,000 and they credit the prepaid rent for $12,000. Now the next one that they ask, um, adjusting entry, is an examination of insurance policies reveals that $2,800 of the prepaid insurance expired during the year. So we're going to want to take that out of an asset account and put it into an expense. So as you see on June 30th, we've debited our insurance expense of 2800 
and we are crediting or reducing our prepaid insurance of 2800 which basically is recording insurance that expired during the year. The next is to provide regular maintenance for the vehicles. Hertz deposited 12000 with a local garage. An examination of maintenance invoices reveals charges of $10,944 against the deposit. So we see up here in the trial balance a $12,000 prepaid maintenance, which would be an asset account. If we've used up that $10,944, then that becomes a maintenance expense that we will debit and we will credit our prepaid maintenance. It's no longer an asset. We've used up a portion of that and so we will credit it and it's only the remainder of that that would be considered an asset on the books. The next one states, um, an inventory of spare parts shows $1,902 on hands. So we see here we have a spare parts inventory of 11310 Well, we don't have that 11310 anymore. We only have 1902 so we'll take the difference, the 11310 minus that 1902, or $9,408, and show that as an expense, spare parts expense as a debit, and we'll credit our inventory of spare parts as an asset. The next one we have shows that Hertz depreciates all of its limousines at the rate of 12.5% per year no limousines were purchased during the year. If we look at our limousines, we show a, um, the asset of $200,000. We've already depreciated $25,000 in the limousines over their period of their life. So we're going to take the $200,000, multiply that times the 12.5%, and come up with $25,000. We'll show that as depreciation expense for limousines. And our credit, which we call a contra account, will be accumulated depreciation for limousines. Next, we have a payment of $1,500 for one full year's interest on notes payable is now due. And so our note payable of $1,500 interest we're going to need to now show as an interest expense. As you see, June 30th, we have a debit to interest expense for $1,500, and we credit the interest payable for $1,500. This is a liability. It did not say that we paid the interest. It said that it is now due. Next, unearned passenger service revenue of June 30th includes $17,815 for tickets that employers purchased for use by their executives, but, but which have not yet been redeemed. So the unearned passenger revenue shows in the trial balance $30,000. It's telling us that this unearned passenger revenue should in fact be $17,815 not the 30000 because a portion of that, the 12185 has already been earned. So as you'll see here, we will credit debit our unearned passenger service revenue. It's no longer a liability. We've earned that portion. So we'll debit that and we'll credit our passenger service revenue of 12000 $185. The next thing it asks us to do is open general ledgers for the accounts in the trial balance plus the various accounts. They want us to open interest payable, rent expense, insurance expense, spare parts expense, depreciation expense, limousines, maintenance expense, and interest expense. We're supposed to start by recording the balances shown in the trial balance, and then post those adjusting entries to, from the journal to the ledger accounts. So as you can see here, we open up each one of these various 
accounts. We start with cash. Now you'll want to make sure you go and begin by showing the balances, those initial balances that are shown in the book up here. And so we'll want to show a beginning balance here of cash of 98.12. We'll want to do the same with accounts receivable, also with prepaid rent, prepaid insurance. We'll want to make sure all of these are in place first. And then after that, we'll want to go and post these various journal entries that we've created um, to the respective accounts. So if we just take a look at rent expense and prepaid rent, we'll want to see our beginning balance on prepaid rent to be $12,000. So as you see here, you go to this ledger, our prepaid rent, we started with a balance of uh, $12,000. Where are we? We began with a balance of $12,000. We'll want to post that adjusting entry. The adjusting entry is a debit to rent expense of $12,000 and a credit to prepaid rent of $12,000. So as you can see, our rent expense, we post that account under rent expense and we show on June 30th, we show it as an adjustment. Our reference will be journal, page 14, and we show that debit of $12,000. In the same respect, we're going to want to make a credit to prepaid rent, and our prepaid rent in that respect will be a credit shown here, June 30th, a credit of $12,000, and you can see here we now have a zero balance. We'll want to do that with each one of these various accounts um, posting these. So we'll want to next take insurance expense with a debit of $2,800 and credit prepaid insurance $2,800. So as you see here, our insurance expense should be uh, Uh, debit here of 2800 and our prepaid insurance began with a balance that showed on our trial balance of 4900 and when we post that adjustment we will credit that prepaid insurance of 2800 to come up with a new balance here of 2100 so you want to take time and create and, and post each one of these. Maintenance expense also, 10944 is a debit. Credit is prepaid maintenance. So as you see here, our maintenance expense is going to be um, a debit of 10944 and we'll credit our prepaid maintenance showing here a credit June 30th of 10944 with a new balance of 1056 as we continue on here we'll want to do the same with spare parts we'll debit that spare parts expense of 9408 credit our spare parts we'll do the same with depreciation expense limousines credit our accumulated depreciation. Please note that the accumulated depreciation is already showing um, a balance as of June 30th of $25,000. We're going to add our adjustment of a credit also of $25,000 which gives our new balance to $50,000. So you're going to want to take your time to continue to post all of those um, adjustments to the various accounts and then after you do that make sure that you have your new balances. Now after that the next thing it asks is to now prepare an adjusted trial balance along with an income statement, a statement of owner's equity, and a balance sheet letting us know that the owner did not make any investments. 
during the year. So once we have all of our totals, we're going to now create an adjusting trial balance, as you see right here. This will merely take from the various ledger the new balances. So when we have our cash, all of our assets, the accounts receivable, the new adjusted balances for all of these, along with our um, contra account, our liabilities, our unearned passenger revenue, our interest payable is now new. That was a new one we added. Our AFILM capital will show a debit to our withdrawals. And then all of our various revenue and expense accounts, you'll come up with a balance of in the debit column and in the credit column of 633209 As you see, the prepaid rent is now a zero balance, so it's not going to show up on our adjusted trial balance because it's a zero balance. So from this trial balance, we're going to pull out those accounts that relate to an income statement, which basically start down here with passenger service revenue and move down from here on down. We'll show our revenues along with our expenses to create our income statement. So as you see, our income statement only takes those accounts related to revenues and expenses. And we'll have a net income here of 56000 The next thing we'll want to do is create a statement of owner's equity. We will use our net income of 56571 We'll need that as we compute our statement of owner's equity. But in addition to that, we'll have to take some items from our trial balance. A couple items that we'll take will be a film capital of 78211 and the a film withdrawals of 20000 So as you see here, we start our owner's equity with the balance. We'll add our net income and we'll subtract our withdrawals to come with uh, up with our a film capital as of the end of the period. Then last, we're going to want to do a balance sheet. Our balance sheet will need to incorporate this a film capital of 114,782. And in addition to that, we'll want to take all of our balance sheet accounts. The balance sheet accounts start here at cash, and they will go down until you see interest payable. Those will all need to be computed in addition to our statement of owner's equity of the 114,782. So as you look at the balance sheet, You'll see the layout for the cash and the accounts receivable, prepaid insurance, prepaid maintenance, spare parts. The limousine's net of the accumulated depreciation give us a total assets of 179,097. Our liabilities will go next, and then our owner's equity is in the next section. Remember, assets will always equal liabilities plus owner's equity, just as you see here. So the 179 in assets is going to equal the liabilities of 64,315 plus our capital of 114,782.